assalamu alaikum okay, today i'm going to try and explain um, endodontics rotary versus manual or reciprocating excuse me for the crude graphics i'm recording off of a computer monitor you if you have any questions at any time um, throughout feel free to contact me on whatsapp and i'll be able to help you and uh, discuss it further in case you need some help now this is what we see normally uh, here again is my whatsapp number uh, you can dial in internationally from anywhere in the world and i'll be able to help you this is the image normally that you see when it comes to good anodontics being done or on somebody root canal treatment root canal therapy in which you see very good nicely solid gut aperture or root canal filling seated uh, i would beg to differ here a little bit as this is where the root tips end here is where they end and here i see a little convolution and this is where the root tip ends i would like to always follow the black line not the white line to see where the canals are going and how the root tips are and i think we are short here uh, here we are short there's an accessory canal that comes on the side little bit of accessory canal puff is coming out of the calcium that was inside the tooth as it was condensed I'll wipe this clean so that's another topic that we can discuss later some other time but the key is that you have very good condensed RCT that shows here I do not know necessarily which uh, treatment was employed here but the site that I took this picture from said that they had done it with rotary endodontics and I would not name the brand name so yes the radiograph looks great and this is what you expect that the inside of it would look like that because of the rotary function the rotary means it turns and it turns and it turns and it turns and it turns regardless of what kind of file or instrument used using inside it turns in a rotary fashion it keeps on rotating so a rotary file a rotary instrument would create something perfectly round for you and when you condense it very nicely inside it looks beautiful on the radiograph it's a side issue that there's a fracture line because of high heat production or because a lot of um, friction that was created when this rotary instrument was rotating and there's a fracture line that could lead to failure of the whole tooth a lot of times these fracture, fracture lines can be delineated or be seen periodontally if you take a perio probe and you go in and let's say you're getting everywhere three millimeter depth of perio pocket and all of a sudden it drops to six seven ten eleven millimeter you know that's where the fracture vertical fracture line is going so that's a little diagnostic tool there for you but nothing is round in nature it's not perfectly round this is the reality here it shows that you have an accessory canal that could be full of bacteria that's a different story but we are looking at the clinical picture of a tooth how it is inside so if you have a nice circular endo canal system you can do it perfectly well with our, with a rotary instrument but what about this space and what about this space how are you going to treat that some people would argue that i will go ahead and do uh, one rotary instrument right there and one rotary instrument right there okay so you do one rotary instrument right on top and you do another rotary instrument right here now what you have done is you have trimmed away a lot more here and a lot less there ideal would be to go a little bit more and clean it up and here it should be something like this so you do not overcut the tooth but that's not what happens so we'll wipe that away And this is how the final should be you should be able to get that and then come in along the isthmus and not have it this wide here but be able to do and do like this do you think this can be attained with the rotary instrument in a rotary instrument you will get this and you will get that but if you're using a large rotary instrument then of course you're going to go around in circumferential movement you'll you would have to cut all around like this and if you did that i'll clean this up what you have attained is a very nice radiograph but you have cut away unnecessarily a lot and then you have weakening of the root surface exactly where you have overcut and this is very prominent in premolars especially upper premolars and i do see a lot of fractures because of rotary instrumentation 
Now this is what a root canal system looks like in cross section. Rotary, how are you going to prepare that with the rotary instrument? One right there, are you going to do one right here, one right there or how? So this kind of preparation is possible if you do hand movement with files and you're doing circumferential filing. You're cleaning around, you start wherever you want to start and then you clean all around again and again and again and again and again and you go around the walls all the time and you end up with a beautiful shape in which you are maintaining the thickness of the dendron all around without compromising the structural integrity of the root at any one point. Furthermore, as you go down from coronal to middle to apical third, the canals are never round anywhere. You look at it from front of you, yes, it looks great if you do only one canal or a separate canal. It will look great on the radiograph. When, when you look at it sideways, how is the rotary instrument going to do this? That is what I'm still waiting for somebody to explain to me. It doesn't happen unless you do circumferential filing. Look, how are we going to do this? If you go ahead and take one nice rotary instrument and you prep that, and you take another one and you prep that, how are you going to get that? And if you're using the same instrument right down the middle, which you can't, then you'll end up with something like this. And that's exactly where the weakening of the whole root surface is going to happen. And we can't afford that. How about this system? Yes, you'll get wonderful one endosystem right there, one right there with rotary. Who is going to take care of this? How are we going to do this with rotary instrument? This calls for circumferential filing and that cannot be done with a rotary instrument. Yes, think about it. And this is exactly how most of the canals are. Not a single tooth would end up with a perfectly round canal for you. And we have an extra canal right there and possibly extra canal right there. We are not even discussing those. How about this system? How are we going to do this? One rotary here, one rotary there. What about that? One rotary here, one there, one there, here. How many rotaries are we going to use? And once you enlarge this, what is going to happen right there? So please don't think that rotary instrument is a good instrument. This is what we see or we expect in a rotary instrument that you'll fill up this with gutta percha, fill up that with gutta percha and, and everything would look wonderful. But what about the canal system right there? and the canal system right here and going this way and going like that. Who is going to address that? This is what a rotary prepared canal would look like and people would expect that and it would look great on the radiograph. And this is how a rotary system canal is prepped in reality where all of this is left over. But since the radiation would enter from this angle, it would still show a wonderfully done endo with solidly condensed gutta percha but all of this space would be empty full of bacteria and what your people are hoping is maybe with warm gutta percha condensation the cement is going to flow into these spaces and it would be taken care of but there is no instrumentation that has been done there so the necrotic tissue and the bacteria are still sitting there and we won't be able to correct that with a rotary instrument and these these are the realities how are we going to get those so I'm raising some questions for you to think logically and say, yes, it would look great on a radiograph, but in reality, it is not going to be there. You're not going to be able to clean the whole canal system. The main goal of RCT, root canal therapy or root canal treatment, is to get apical seal, to get coronal seal, and to clean, shape, and fill completely the whole canal system. And here with rotary instrument, we are unable to do so. How about this? Are we going to make the, if this is the width, think about it. Perfectly round rotary instrument would get you that. But if you do only one small one, you do it right here and you do it right there. What about this space right here? Who's going to get that? So a rotary instrument is definitely not the answer. Look at this. Perfectly done and on a rotary instrument, but all of this is left and it is not being treated whatsoever. It's, it's all dirty and it has all the necrotic debris right there, right here, 
and look at this and look at this and this is a premolar or the mesial roots of any molar especially a lower molar look at this and because of extra heat and extra friction a lot of times we get fractures how are we going to treat this root with a rotary instrument are we only going to do this or if you take this then you have to take the whole diameter and the diameter would end up causing immediate fracture of the roots and even if you do this this is a diameter rotary instrument is perfectly round so diameter has to fit in you see we have nothing left of the root surface right there and what about this the isthmus in between who's going to treat that but compare this to when you're doing reciprocating or you're doing filing which is circumferential you're able to clean all of this like that excuse the noises in the background that is what I'm trying to make you see but if you were to only fill even one canal and then take a radiograph the, the film would be right here and the radiation would be going this way and it would show you a perfectly done RCT very solid but that would not be the case because the rest of it would be left empty how about this see they did the endo and this is a failed tooth excellent endo excellent endo with rotary but center of it and isthmus was left totally undone on even a distal root which is supposed to be slightly round the radiograph looked great but all of this space was left here in the center is gutta percha center is gutta percha the rest of space is all left and these are evidences where university graduates or university postgraduate students did research and they took out their teeth which had failed endodontics and they sectioned them and they found blank errors plain and simple because of rotary instrumentation these are cross sections of some roots and if you were to do rotary endodontics you would be missing everything else you would be missing the whole canal essentially these are actual roots cross sections how are we going to do these with rotaries i'm raising some questions for you you might be able to fill that, you might be able to fill this, but what about this space in between? You won't be able to fill that. And that is why I'm coming to you to have you think about this. Now, most of the rotary instruments that I've seen, they recommend that you do hand filing till at least number 25 file. I have been using reciprocating hand piece for a very, very long time, and I love it absolutely because I'm able to use any file of my choice. I like headstrom files, hand files and these rotary the reciprocating hand pieces except these hand files and i'm able to do circumferential filing with them and i'm able to get everything in between the two main canals or three canals or whatever the kidney shape canal system you would have uh, and by hand filing i only negotiate all the way to the full length with only number 10 file in rotary endodontics, they recommend that you do 10, then 15, then 20, and then 25 by hand. The rest of it, then you are actually already done with the endo. I go all the way to number 40 file normally, but I only use in my reciprocating hand piece, uh, first time my hand access would be with number 10 file. And then I go switch immediately to reciprocating hand piece with plenty of EDTA or the lubricant inside the canal. And I use number 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, all of these files in my reciprocating handpiece. So it takes a lot less time and a lot less manual effort to, to negotiate or to enlarge the canal system. And that's what I would recommend. I would welcome anybody who has a different experience or different thought process about this. But I have evaluated it for the last almost uh, 34 years now. And it seems like the, the best system to me is circumferential filing. I already have another video about warm gutta percha condensation. And I would welcome you to take a look at that also to see after you have prepared the canal system with a reciprocating system or with hand filing. But nonetheless, in both cases, circumferential filing, not a rotary instrument. You get clean class system and then you can just warm gutta percha and you get excellent results every time.